We all know modular phones are coming at some point. Google's working on them. We've seen them from Fairphone, but LG has got this, the LG G5. And it is a true modular phone. Just as the rumors were telling us, it has a magic slot. Not that LG are calling it a magic slot, but it is indeed quite magic. This little button at the side here, you push that and a module at the bottom separates by about a millimeter. You give it a tug and out comes a very big battery and a modular stick at the bottom and you're left with a big hole in the bottom of your phone. Now LG is going to make different modules which then add functionality to the G5 and this is how it works. If you've never taken a phone apart before, you're gonna get the opportunity with the G5. You separate the battery from this part here. You then take your battery and your new module and you clip them together. So you have this again. You take your phone and you slot it back in. And then you have a new module on the back adding functionality. This is a true modular phone. Now this is the LG Cam Plus and this is an extra camera module for your phone. It makes it easier to hold as a camera because it's a big grip on the side. On the top here you have a record button for the video, you have a two-stage shutter for the camera and this which is a zoom control. Now we're going to come back to the camera stuff in just a second. But again, to get rid of this module, if you want to take it off, you just use this button at the side here, unclip it, and out it comes. And that's it. That's how you use a modular smartphone made by LG. Now, LG with the G5 has created for the first time in its history a metal-bodied smartphone. And you'll notice that there are no antenna lines. This is a really cool thing that LG are keeping pretty quiet about. They won't tell us the secret, but it's something called microdizing. And this is a system that covers over the antenna bands. The antenna bands are in there somewhere, it's just we can't see them. LG is not revealing the way it does this because apparently it's the only ones that know how. So we're pretty excited about that. And it certainly does create a really clean finish on the phone. This one you're looking at here is pink and they're doing it in several other colors, including a black and a white. Now while we've been looking at the back of the phone here, you'll see there's a fingerprint sensor in the center. And the good thing is LG hasn't lost that rear button for controlling the power. So it's still a button as well, much like the V10. So we're pleased about that. The volume controls, however, are now on the side. You'll see at the top, there are two camera lenses, as the rumors get said. Again, this is a dual camera phone. In the center you have the color spectrum flash and an auto, a laser auto focus below. And these two camera lenses aren't stereoscopic. You don't get a 3D camera. They work in a very different manner. If we turn the phone on, you're going to see the way this works. Oh, that's another thing. When you unclip these modules, it turns the phone off and you then have to switch the phone back on. So you're not, it's not gonna be something you wanna do every five minutes because you're gonna be endlessly restarting your phone. Definitely something to think about. While the phone's starting up, See, this is a 5.3 inch screen, a little bit larger than the, a uh, little bit smaller rather than the uh, G5, um, but it has the same resolution, but it is much brighter, 900 nits, say LG. And they said, take it to the beach and it will be super bright while you're down there. So let's have a look at the camera now that the phone has started up again. Let's spin round so you can see the exciting place where we're testing out the G5. At the moment, this is using a standard camera lens. You can see this icon here. That's using the single, normal, regular camera lens. You tap that and you get a super wide image. That's using the second camera lens. Go back to the start there just to see the difference again. And it's huge, it's 135 degrees. Human eye apparently is 120 degrees. So you're seeing, seeing considerably more than you would do normally. Giving interesting creative opportunities for the camera. Now the only time the camera uses the two lenses together is when you select something called pop out. And pop out again is a creative fun tool. You can see it adds in this little box here. 
and you can change the effect in the center. That's now using two lenses to create this really unusual effect. Now, if we go back to standard, switch this off, we go back to auto, we're gonna turn the phone over. I'm gonna go back to using this zoom control here. Now, LG say this is a hybrid system, so it has both digital and analog inside for zoom. And that's pretty great. It's also quite nice to use an actual button. So definitely the camera is, again, really exciting on the G5. Going back to the standard specs of this phone, this is a Snapdragon 820 processor inside with four gigabytes of RAM. Some more good news is that despite it being a metal phone, this has got a micro SD card slot to add more storage to the 32 gigabytes of memory. The final thing is an Android 6.0 Marshmallow phone. And if we shift here, you'll notice the distinct lack of an app tray. And that's because Google, uh, Android, that's because LG has completely removed it. Now that's an interesting and probably controversial decision. We see it a lot on Huawei and ZTE phones. Very rarely do we see it on mainstream manufacturers, but you're seeing it here. For simplicity's sake, says LG, and we're not sure whether everyone's going to agree. You can read a full hands-on report of the very cool new LG G5 at Digital Trends right now.